come back to the company now. This is, I guess, mid '90s at this time, mm -hmm. and you're calm with a Supreme Fighting Machine. This is a kind of a badass gimmick. That was at the time I said that I wasn't wrestling. I was working in the clubs, and they would call me with ideas, and I'd be like, "Nah, I don't want to do that." And I'd be like, "Nah, I don't want to do that." Well, this is during the beginning of the UFC, and they had some character named Chemo with tattoos. And so they basically wanted to have some type of gimmick to go off of that UFC. And it, UFC was just starting off then. That's when it was nothing like it is now. It was just starting off. So they're like, well, you know, we know that you know a little shoot fighting. You know a little this. You know a little boxing. We want to do this ultimate fighting thing call you comma. And it'll stand for kick any man's ass. And I'm like, eh, you know, I don't really want to do that. And they said, now mind you, I'm a biker. They said, we'll let you ride a Harley. When they said, we'll let you ride a Harley, I said, I'm in, because now I'm having fun again. So we came in, and we were that, uh, and the, most people don't remember the Harley, because back then, Vince didn't own the Titan motorcycles. He didn't have one for Taker. He didn't have one for DOA. He didn't, he didn't have the motorcycles. He ended up buying a bunch of motorcycles. So we had to rely on people bringing in motor, renting motorcycles. And so when they did that, they were just, they'd bring sportsters, old beat up shovel heads, things that you couldn't put on TV due to the fact that Vince didn't own any motorcycles. It was just too, it, you know, they weren't gonna just buy one for me apparently. And so uh, it just, they took the motorcycle away. Once they took the motorcycle away, I was ready to go. And then they put me, I think in Money Incorporated. I think Vince said, well, help us out on this deal and we're going to put you in with Bam Bam and at WrestleMania, you guys are going to fight a bunch of football players and Lawrence Taylor. And I'm like, okay, that'll be cool. But shortly after that, I was gone because, I, like I said, I, I wasn't having fun at that point. And if I wasn't having fun, I, I didn't want to be there. And uh, that's what happened to Comical. You know, that was like when they, I you know no, I'm jumping ahead, but when they put the end of the Godfather, it made me a good father. I was, the night that I, <laughs> the night that I became the good father, I was like, Vince, I'm out of here, bro. I'm, I'm, this is, I'm definitely not doing this. And uh, Vince, being the jokester that he is, dropped the straps on me and Bull. I think we beat the Hardy Boys, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we had the straps for a short time. And I said, as soon as they take these straps off of me, I'm out of here. And that's what happened to that. You know, that's what happened there. And he bounced after that. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, I, I just, it, was, it, it, it wasn't worth it the stress of everything. I'd rather just been at home. And so, like I said, for me, wrestling was always fun. If you weren't having fun, I was ready to go. You mentioned the Hardys right there. I wanted to just throw this out there, but you wrestled a very young Matt Hardy when you were, comma, the Supreme Fighting Machine. I don't know if you remember that. He was just Dude, starting out. You should have cued me in on some of these questions, bro, because, <laughs> I, I mean, pro I don't remember that. I probably, at that point, he probably didn't have the the stardom that he does now. I wrestled a lot of guys as Papa Shango that were just coming up in dark matches and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah look at him now. Yeah, I didn't know that. Good guys. Good, both of them. Were, they were, even when me and Bull wrestled them, they were kids. I mean, that had to be 99, 2000. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's 20, over 22 years ago. You also tagged and I think wrestled with Isaac Yankum, DDS, who became Kane, obviously. <laughs> well, I think we did that one, I think we were like one week that they had me and Kane match together. Who was I? Was I, think, I Kama? I think you were still Kama. Um, I think that they had nothing for me and they had nothing for him. So they just, you know, they just made us a tag. It was probably low on the card, first, second or third match. And it was, you know, it is what it was. But we probably only did that one week. One week, it probably yeah, it was probably just one week on a thing. I have been with so many weird like Isaac Yankum, King Kong Bundy, <laughs> this one, that one, because it was just they were filling a card, and for whatever reason they had some, they just put you together, you know, just to make a, a card. But uh, yeah, I, 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 he was cool. I think he went to the Monster Factory too, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe yeah, I'm not sure. I think one of my best matches, technical matches I ever had. It was a Survivor Series. I don't know what year it was. It was Survivor Series. And me and, and Sean went to like a 20 or 30 minute Broadway. And if you don't know what a Broadway means, that means you go a time limit, nobody wins. And I was like, one of my first matches, it was either 20 or 30 minutes. I don't remember what it was. But it was one of my first matches that I had to go that long. And I'm like, oh hell, what am I gonna do? You know like that? And uh, I kind of just, let Sean call it. I mean, I called my heat. He called some of my heat. 
But I will say the fact that he called that match, that was probably one of my best technical matches ever was that match against him. And that's credit to him because, you know, he can call a match like that. And it probably showed a different side of you, too, that maybe you yeah. didn't even know that you were capable I was of. doing moves that I'd never done before. He's calling stuff, you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> as long as you sell it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but good good matches. Talent, man, talent. I mean, he, that's, I mean he, that's why he is who he is. Very talented. He can work with just about anybody. What's the old saying? He can work with a broomstick. That's old Ric Flair saying. Yeah. But re very talented young man. That's yeah, it like. was great. I wish I could have... You know, I wish I could have worked a long program with them. I would have learned a lot. You know, that's something I wish would have happened. Because you just learn from people like that. What's cracking lacking, everybody? WWE Hall of Famer, The Godfather here. And you're listening, watching Title Match Network. Check it out. Peace.